Welcome back we'll to Sales and Submarine, everybody. Watch me uh, rock at fucking Mass Effect as an infiltrator. And oh, yeah, I'm low on health and I'm going to be shot at if I uh, go my usual route. And. Well, remember last time you uh, did this. Last time it was. Hilariously used a uh, pistol to take <laughs> out the Geth Destroyer. Just, <laughs> just shooting it in the mouth from yeah. him. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> just watching it, just watching its health go down so quickly. Like you know, you shoot it with a sniper rifle and do nothing. Oh god, yeah, it's Halo true. One pistol, man. Yeah. No kidding. Oops. Jesus. All right. God. <laughs> Perfect. Smooth move. Look I'm, at, look I'm at used uh, Shepard spider walking. <laughs> I'm used to R being like reload, and I'm used to having to. To reload, so you know. All right. Uh, okay. Stop. Uh, stop being undercover, guys. You guys are talking about me behind my back. We're I don't talking know. about the audio the, balance. I, I know. I know, still... but yeah, it's a little finicky. It. Yes, it is. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I. Yes, you're in a perfect position to snipe them. I mean, yeah. I did I did say this is the exact point at which I said fuck being an infiltrator. All right. Shit's annoying. This is the exact point where I said, "Eh, I'm going to keep being an infiltrator." <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to go well. <laughs> this is, you know, even like handling these your um your allies. It's just like, how do I get him to Oh, it gets a oh lot better. God. Also, your aim is off. Well, yeah, so, but... This is my least favorite part of this game, and it does a real... I, I mentioned it last uh, in our last recording session, but th there's so much wrong with the first part of the game. The game should not start here. It should start... Uh, like, I would argue it ought to start at the Citadel, and you should get Why pulled away I on this anything? mission. Why can't so you have to wait for the enemy to have a red little marker on it. Oh, awesome. I think. But then I have to, I'm out of cover, and that means that I'll take damage, and I only have one well, per save back, so... You can run and take cover. Again, the cover system is trash, but it is sort of important. See? Let's see. I don't want them to hold their current position. They can die. For... Oops, not left. Well, that kind of worked. So you can... Tell can them you to... can equip the pistol and shoot them again. Yeah, you could do that too. Yeah. You could do more than one thing also. While you're in. Oh, it's so using an ability to basically make itself invincible. Wait, is the infiltrator? Yeah. See, now that's gonna work. Yeah. Wait. So what is the infiltrator uh, able to use other than the sniper rifle? Just the sniper rifle? I mean, it I'm still I'm should... still fucking galled by the fact that any fucking Wait, soldier is unable to use a pistol, yeah. but still. Um, it, when I went back on my own computer, uh, I was able to, um, I looked at Infiltrator and it, you know, should be able to, um, oh my god. Can you use the assault rifle or are you untrained? In um, that? untrained in assault rifle, but I should have no problem with, um, uh, the pistol. Well, then maybe the, maybe the messages are just... Yeah. Maybe. Although because, like, early, when I started this last time, like, I remember, um... Uh... So I, they're a little too far away, is the yeah. thing with that. Yeah. No, I got that. Um, oh, I think you got him. Well, I think targeting that biotic ability is, it's also targeting just whatever... Um, you're pointing at not it doesn't it doesn't actually lock to a, an enemy or anything. Mm -hmm. So, and since Caden is God knows where, I do have to say I rather like the the sniper rifle telling you how far the target is. Whining about how his biotic abilities are such a fucking burden. Oh, I know. Shut up, you whiny bitch. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Carth. <laughs> <laughs> or Alistair. Whatever floats your boat. I could I could oh. live with oh, Alistair. Yeah. I I didn't use him much, but well, yeah, because all right, well, I think once, I did one, it, guys. Once once Alistair got Go me. got his Templar abilities. I'm sorry. Were you playing the game? We weren't paying it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, she it's just like killed all the gaps. Good it, good job though. <laughs> it's like uh, wait, why are you going back? What if I missed a crate? You didn't. What if I missed a crate? 
uh, you're gonna regret opening every crate in this game. All right. You'll still do it because we all do it. But all right. Well, I just uh, I want medical packs. Let's see. I'm gonna quick save. Also, why is quick save F6? Why? Uh, what if I F don't know. What's F5 do? I don't know. I don't want to find out. What if it's? Well, you could always like look in overheat the overheat the computer. <laughs> Jeez. So in lab, uh, with our new postdoc, I'll often talk to him. He'll be like, so uh, what happens uh, if you do this? I'm just like, well, obviously, if you misuse any of the equipment, it will explode in your face. And he's like, well, of course. That goes without saying. So we've made that, uh, comments like that for, like, the vacuum uh, when we're filtering things through or the plate reader, stuff like well, that. Well, I mean, the vacuum could Destroy really, like, colony. you know. I wouldn't say explode, but it could implode, I guess. Yeah, if we don't uh, depressurize it before turning it off. Yeah. You know. Or something. something. I don't know. Well, I mean, whatever. There's a reason. There, are, There's a reason for these things, and I'm... It's just fun to say that, oh, well, it'll explode in your face, obviously. I love this mission. This is my favorite mission. Tell us how you really feel, social. Fuck this mission. Fuck everything about this mission. I still don't think I quite understand Fuck your true this feelings. You're saying you love this mission? Yeah. It's the best thing you've ever experienced. Oh, right? you're on a time limit, by the way. Oh, yeah. I am? Where? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's that fucking dandy. Fun. That was the, the uh... That's why I love this mission. Um, I love timed down. missions in all games. Am I just supposed to disarm it? Yes, you, you have just to, did. You have to fight your way through to get to the rest of them, but it's not particularly... Okay. Particularly it's not difficult. Okay. Oh, God. Um, we're off to a great start, everybody, and there's cover here. Um, awesome. This is the tutorial. This is the tutorial section where it beats you until you learn. <laughs> yeah. I can't say that I'm particularly thrilled with this. I'd also really like to, you know, aim and zoom in with my sniper rifle, but you know, why would you be able to do that? It okay. might be a little buggy. No, it's perfect. <laughs> Nothing's ever been wrong with this game. There's no friendly fire, correct? Hey, you leveled up. Uh, Yay. I think there is friendly fire, yeah. Is there really? Yeah, at least with tech. Oh, and, awesome. And uh, biotic abilities, I think. Let's see. All right. See, there you go. Yeah, now I can do it. Couldn't do it before. All right. All right. Jam. Oh, it's jammed. Awesome. We've been jammed. Lone Raspberry. Star. All right. Raspberry. All right, it's jammed again. That's fantastic. Well, they don't, they don't want you to just know where the bombs are. Yeah. Also, I think you may have walked past one before. Uh, no, I think it's on the other side. All right. I remember there's one in this one that well, this... I always like. I walked past like three times and failed the mission a bunch of times just because I couldn't find it because I walked past it. Alright, well this is not gonna go well. Obviously. Yeah, and Caden's already down. Caden's down. Ugh, what a bitch. You know... Caden, not you. Alright, well it's a good thing I, uh, I saved recently, right? Am well, right? it auto-saved. It did. Alright, awesome. Well, now that I know more about what I'm actually doing... I would recommend running up there, getting your pistol out, and um, going across the bridge, but that's me. I think you should just melee all of them. Yes, that is the right thing to do. Pull out your hunting knife. All right. I don't know, pistol whip. <laughs> pistol whip is the only way to go. Yes, you got him. In every You game. got it. You got it. All right, I don't like being by things that are red. Uh, most things don't explode in this game. Okay, I still don't like it. Yeah, so I think All right, the, the now we disarm. The bomb that I I think I always missed is behind you. All right. I'll take your uh, word for it. Yeah. There it is. Yep. That one? Yep. That one? Yep. Well, awesome. you've only spent like one minute, and How many you're do almost done. Wow. See how easy that was? Well, because you guys are here backseat gaming for me. Yeah. Well, well, it's what we do. It's what you do best. It's, uh, it's our job. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll say. Nice. 
So you might wanna have oh right, Ashley's a soldier and just thus has absolutely nothing. That Let's she see, can what do. do you think? This uh, or this weapon overload. But but Ooh. red red, she has the Wait, can you she has the power of Jesus. Space Jesus. Yes, yes. I remember my mom uh, like I think I was playing Mass Effect 3. And um, she she overheard a little bit of it, and um, was like, "Man, why is every sci-fi hero named Shepard?" <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about it. The name. I mean, yeah. Oops. Ah. Oof. Ooh, that took some took some damage yeah. there. Because narrative tropes are funny and. Uh, and Actually, uh, cover fire for me. But really. Like, Jesus Ash Christ, I'm very, very... Ashley, eat the bullets. Yeah. Well... Eat the bullets with your mouth. Yeah, but can, can we can we really? Can't she really? Oh, yes, she can. She really can. Come on, take it. She'll take do her. it with gusto. Are you having problems? You might need uh, to switch weapons again. Oops. Yeah. No, this is the best cover-based system that's ever existed in any game in the history of games. Well, yeah, obviously. It is oh, just did the she most, got it. The most she refined. got it. All right, awesome. You know what I did um, in KOTOR 2? Uh, because um, there was a part on the on the planet after like the, the intro area. I never played KOTOR You two. never played KOTOR 2? I well, finished was... KOTOR 1. Oh. Dude, I never played KOTOR 1. I played KOTOR, well, most KOTOR 2. But then uh, then the we lost the seat, or rather, I don't know what happened to the uh, the disc. Anyways, uh, there's a part in KOTOR 2 Where's where, the other one? because I, you know, replayed it a ton. I eventually, like, I, fig I was- uh, There we go. I was replaying it one day, and I mean, this usually happens. There's this huge minefield, and I'm like, "All right, everybody, just take the mines out one by one." And then over the, you know, there's a curve in the in the paths, and then at the other side of the curve is like 50 enemies. Mm -hmm. I'm exaggerating quite a bit, mind you. Of course, there aren't actually 50. No, there aren't actually 50, but there are a lot, and there are a lot. They're quite a bit higher level than you are at the time. Awesome. So. um... What he ended up doing is one of the characters has a an ability where he'll just revive. Like himself with, or yeah, other people? No, he just revives himself with no items mm -hmm. or anything. So he would just get up randomly. Well, it wasn't completely random. It was like on a timeout. So I would just send him in and then stand around the corner and just wait for him to eventually kill everything. So why is that not totally Ooh. game breaking? Um, or is it? It was totally break game breaking. I also had a time where is it, is it I had a character glitch, had zero health, and was still up and killing. I get things. this. I hope that was the greatest. Because you'll be fine. Just... You're you're like you're you're almost done. Yeah. Oh good. 